Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Monday, November 14th. And to remind you, there's lots of great stuff at fountainchurchtallahassee.org and that you can join us for worship every Sunday at 1030 in this sanctuary or online or by drive up. Worship with us. My scripture today is Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and keep it. This is the word of the Lord. There are many scriptures which remind us that we're called to be stewards of God's creation. Surely, God gave us a beautiful garden of a world. But did you know that in Utah, there is a stand of aspen trees. It's called Pando, P-A-N-D-O. And these aspen trees are unlike any others. This is a stand of identical cloned trees. There are over 47,000 of them, all identical, all male, 6,000 tons of timber. And it is considered the largest, since they're all the trees are interconnected, it's the largest living thing in the world by some definitions. However, I know you're waiting for the other shoe to drop, it's shrinking. Now, some of this is due to climate change, but really not much of it. What's really nipping all around it and is causing it to lose ground every year, it's us. Human development is cutting into it, and the governments there are allowing grazing and other activities which are harmful to the forest, and Whenever trees are removed from this pando, it's never quite the same because it has its interconnected reproduction system that gets interrupted when trees are cut down. Well, this is a true treasure and I hope and pray that cooler heads prevail and they will preserve this beautiful stand of trees. This miracle of genetics and biology, 47,000 identical male trees. Of course, now some women might say 47,000 identical males, that didn't come from God. <laughs> well, we'll, dis we'll dispute that later. But the point is, let's remember that even though we're not in charge of that stand of trees, we need to remember our environment, not just for our sake, but for the sake of the planet and its preservation and the legacy we leave to future generations. Let us pray. Lord, make certain that we continue to be stewards. Inspire us, lead us, guide us to take care of this beautiful garden you have given us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.